you have probably experienced it on your own, the job market is so hard right now. Like you can send hundreds or thousands of applications, you won't even get a response back. And in most cases, those companies actually putting up job listings are either fake or they just get like thousands, like tens of thousands of applications through LinkedIn or all different kinds of platforms. The job market is very hard right now. We need to figure out new methods, both to get into job market, but also around it because the reason why it's getting harder is because smaller teams if they want to scale to more employees more team members and so on they act like need to have more managing levels once you put more managing levels into your company into your teams and so on it becomes less efficient so it's better to have smaller teams with a very specific skill set and then they can use the large language models chat dbt and claude and so on you can't probably imagine if you just imagine where you are today compare that to two years or three years ago when we didn't have the large language models you've probably been joking with your classmates your colleagues friends and so on that the, the stuff that we're doing now we weren't able to do that like two three years ago just imagine when i was in school if i had these chat gpt large language models and so on to help me out learn do research and also just coding projects like i can't even imagine how it was back then when I was doing like all the coding myself, writing for loops, if statements and so on, where now I'm just prompting, I'm just supervising and so on, way more efficient and effective. Probably write code four to five times faster, able to solve projects that was not possible before. So this is the reason why the job market is hard. You can see the trend of AI, you can see the trend of the large language models, it's only going in one direction. So I don't think that the job market is going to be easier anytime soon it's probably only going to be worse we need to figure out how we can stand out how we can get around the job market because now with just a very specific skill set you can know a bit about software engineering ai engineering and so on you can get relatively quick into that with a lot language models then you can start to build some small scale systems yourself with different areas we can't just be in one specific niche now unless you want to be a very hardcore researcher but if you want to make money get out there, have job opportunities, work on different projects and so on. Could be your own projects, could also be projects in a company where you have like a higher position with more managing and more responsibility as well. So if we want to get to that point, we really need to stand out. We can't just like focus on one specific thing. And I'm just sharing these videos here in a very casual video. I'm going to create like more of these because I like the format. It's better connection between you and me. And if you have any suggestions what I can talk about, like definitely let me know what could potentially like help me. What could I know that could potentially help you? And I'll be more than happy to share that with you and also just go over it because we're all in the exact same position. And also if you're the specific and also it doesn't really matter what situation you're in. I have been there on my whole journey and so on. So this can help a lot of people because the situation that you're in now, a lot of people in the future is going to be doing the exact same one. So it's really important that we share our experiences, skills and so on, so we can help out other people and basically just provide a ton of value. So we need to stand out. We need to create a whole business around ourselves. We need to have a business mentality. How can we get into job positions? We have to sell ourselves. We need to figure out how do we stand out? We need to get our work out there. A lot of companies now, they don't even care about like experiences, resume, all the formalities and so on. They basically just say, show us the code that you have done in the past. If you're just working corporations or been in university and so on, you don't really have any code to show and all that where, because again, you can't share the company code. You can't like, you can't create project in the university and so on if you're not focusing on it. So it's really important that you create a project on the sideline, do contributions to open source projects and so on, and then get your work out there. If you just want a job in your local neighborhood and so on, you don't really get the projects that you want to work on. You don't have the flexibility, you won't get opportunities. We need to get out there. It doesn't really matter. I say it all the time. It doesn't matter like how smart you are. If no one knows who you are, you're never going to like have all the opportunities, go to the next levels and so on. And like just climbing the ladder will be so slow compared to doing it in the other way. You could say that, oh, there are some researchers. They're like only focusing on one specific thing. They're very good. They work at Facebook, Meta, Google, Tesla, and so on, like Andy Kapathy, Ilua, and, and all these guys. 
but they are no, not no namers. Like they have been known since they were like like 15, 16, 17, 18 years old. They're coming out from the greatest universities with the best grades from Stanford, MIT, and all those universities. They're not no namers. Like people know who they are. They are the best researchers out there. So they have a lot of opportunities, but that's a very small, tiny part of it. Like if you compare it, like it's the Messi, it's the Ronaldo of soccer and football. So. You could aim to be those, but again, there's also a level like right under that, and to get to that level could take like 10, 20 years just grinding the ladder compared to actually like, just doing the, it the other way. I pretty much did it in, in three to four years, building my personal brand, doing work on the sideline, getting freelance profiting and so on that I'm able to share. So this is definitely the way that I recommend people going compared to a traditional trajectory. Because AI is also only going in one direction. I couldn't even imagine taking an AI degree or like a coding degree now and I'm done in five years because just the last two years, three years ago, we didn't even have ChatGPT and those large language models. And now they're pretty much doing all the work. Just imagine in five years, is it even necessary? Are we even writing code in five years? Are we even like, are we even doing the low level math and so on? Because these large language models, they're just so good at it. Of course, we need some fundamental understanding. We need to know the theory and so on, or else we doesn't really, or else we don't really know how these large language models are generating the output or supervising it, combining all these different elements that we get as outputs. So I'm not saying that we shouldn't learn the theory and also the fundamental understanding behind it all. We just need to focus more on the practical stuff and building a business and basically just getting out there. I'm not talking about building a business, but just treat yourself as a business. Start to change the mindset slightly here and there because you need to brand yourself when you're doing resumes, interviews and so on. That's also personal branding. So most people, they just focus like 90, 95% on the theory, but the large language model, that's the easiest. That's the easiest thing for large language models to solve. That's the theory, that's the low level math, that's the low level code and all that. It's all resolved by large language models. You can test it out yourself and so on. So don't focus your time on that. You can learn the fundamentals. You can learn what you actually need to be able to use those tools with the large language models in no time with the large language models. So, so definitely use those tools, get to a certain level, but don't go too deep into that because we can't spend 90, 95% of the time on the low level theory. Spend 20% of the time on the fundamentals, the theory, get a high level understanding of all different types of components. And then we can spend 80% of the time on actually like doing project work, hands on with the projects, coding and all that. And, and actually like just using the tools because it's all about using the tools that we have, combining all these different elements together. So spend 80% of your time building your mindset, building yourself, basically just making practical experience because again, that's also what you learn the most for. I have other videos where I talked about, you pretty much just learn the most from your mistakes. Could be that you're making mistakes, could be that you're getting rejected and so on. But those are actually like the things that you learn the most for or basically just get some internal factor. We need to have something internally in, in us. We need to have something internally in us burning, like a burning desire to achieve something. So that's often why people like successful people, like they come from very bad backgrounds. They had like a hard childhood. Maybe they were bullied parents were coming from different backgrounds and so on but most often like people have a burning factor or burning desire inside them to achieve something it could be that you want to help out your mother siblings and so on but most people we need to find that internal factor in us we can't always be motivated to do our work sometimes you just don't want to wake up and do the work but and most important thing is that we keep going, you stay dedicated and so on. So motivation should not drive you, but dedication and dedication, it comes often from internal factor that just keeps you going, going, going. I have to make this, there's no other choice. I need to support my family. I need to build myself freedom. I need to get myself more opportunities and so on. So you just keep on going. Even though it's hard, you just keep on going because you have this burning desire. And that is, and that is the most important factor. So instead of just spending like too much time on the theory and so on, try to figure out what do you want, lay out a plan. Like if you don't have a map, if you don't have a plan, like how are you going to navigate? You are in an unseen environment. You have never been in that environment before. It's just like if you take a rental car, you go on a vacation. How are you supposed to drive around knowing the environment if you don't have a map or the navigation? So this is how you should treat life as well. Make sure that you spend time on like thinking about the future. What steps should I do now that will give me more opportunities in the future, but also make myself a better person. 
sometimes that is better return on investment compared to both doing coding pretty much any other skill set like sometimes it's good to just look out the window talk think and that can actually be some of the highest return on investment and also the highest return on time spent so make sure that you spend time to figure out what you want in life how are you staying dedicated at what you're doing because the most important thing is consistency i have not done anything like i've not done anything crazy like i was even bad back in the university when i got rejected by all those offers and applications and so on that i sent around i was not better than other people i just kept on going i found a way because i just thought about how would i want to have my future i laid out a plan i executed and i stayed consistent the only advantage i would say i have compared to most people is that i just stayed consistent for years to years even sometimes when i didn't want to record videos like youtube videos still on, on new year's eve christmas eve and so on after getting home from my parents i started recording videos at like midnight after new year's eve just to get the videos out because I just knew I had to do it. There's no other option. And if I quit, if I could stay so motivated, like even the worst days, I could just remind me myself back to the days I was sitting New Year's Eve recording videos so I can also do it today. This is pretty much the best message that I can get out there like to help you in any possible way. If you think that I have any experiences or like anything that I can share with you guys that can help you out in any way, more than happy. I really like this format here, just talking back and forth. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section and then I'll just see you guys in the next video.